Making good decisions based on perceptual information is critical for effective acting. But what not perceptual factors influence such choices? To address such questions, we use the Steiner's dataset as it contains behavioral and neuronal responses of mice in a visual discrimination task. We have early identified limiting factors, the major of which was the inability to design the task ourselves. Furthermore, some of the ideas that we had in the beginning just didn't work. For example, reinforcement learning models did not fit well with mice behavior we observed. We also could not obtain a satisfactory amount of neural data to make a good connection with the behavioral measures as we had initially planned. Overall, the schedule was pretty tight, demands of the course were high, however, our experience was positive and we have all gained some new skills as a result. To be able to determine which non-perceptual factors influence this behavior, we proceed to model mice decisions and check if we can predict behavior. Our strategy to solve these questions consists on going through three different stages. The first one consists on applying logistic regression to our data to be able to model the behavior of two sets of binary decisions, the decision of acting or not in response to the stimulus and the decision of choosing left versus right. The second stage consists of fitting more complex models using optimization techniques such as gradient descent or differential evolution. And finally, we correlate the parameters of our model with the final rates of the neurons. Throughout the entire project, we use the following set of variables from the statements dataset, which can be divided into the following groups. The perceptual variables, like the contrast intensity on the left and on the right of the screen, and other variables like previous reward, the previous choice, and the number of trial elapsed. One thing we found was that the probability of responding at a given trial was predicted by the reward at the previous trial. And we found this by comparing logistic regression models and our best three models had the reward at the previous trial as a predictor. And furthermore, the best model overall also had the response at the previous trial as a predictor. And checking the coefficients, we saw that animals are more likely to respond when they were rewarded at the previous trial, and also more likely to respond when they responded in the previous trial. On the other hand, we um, tried to look at how animals may be changing their threshold for acting across trials. So uh, we computed uh, with signal detection theory uh, this, uh, this threshold which at zero would mean that they don't have uh, any bias towards uh, choosing or not, uh, towards um, responding or not responding. And if it's negative, it means that they have a bias towards responding. And so on average, it starts negative and goes more positive uh, over time, uh, goes towards zero. As if the animals are losing their urge to act over time as they become um, satiated. On the, um, however, this may well be an artifact of averaging because if you see here, the individual lines, uh, there's, a, there's much variety about whether they go down or up or nothing at all. We tried to characterize how mouse behavior was influenced by non-perceptual factors. We attempted to explain the non-stationarity and the biases observed by fitting Q-learning and biosensory integration models. However, the mice were already experts at the task, so the Q-learning models were a bad fit. Indeed, we can see on the main plot that the BSI model performs better with lower BICs on all sessions. On the right, we can see that the parameters of the BSI model are strongly correlated with neural activity in specific brain areas. The top plot shows a strong correlation between midbrain activity over the course of an entire session and the time varying bias towards acting, even if the correct response is to not act. On the lower plot, we see a milder correlation between hippocampus activity and the time varying parameter which determines to what degree behavior is driven by perceptual information. 